This is the big night. The two teams have come a long way in the Europa League this season, and now we are down to the last four. It's the first leg this evening. It's Newcastle United. They take on Valencia live on EA TV. Hello, I must say there aren't many better places to be on a beautiful night for football than St. James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary position as always by Lee Dixon. Only four sides are still breathing in this season's Europa League. We've reached the semi-final stage. It's Newcastle United taking on Valencia. Thank you, Derek. It's got a ring to it, hasn't it? Semi-final, Europa League. Now, all of a sudden, the final is in touching distance. But you've got to focus. Focus on the game in hand. Focus on... Good visualisation and execution. Simple save for the keeper. Well, he had to pick the fly to the ball up. That was all got behind it. Good save. Joel Linton, a sloppy pass. PC, wonderfully weighted pass. Soler, wonderful block. And it's come off the keeper. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. PC Forsberg and return to PC Vass crossing opportunity good use of the ball but can they trouble the defence well the counter chance looks very real in possession Adama there's a slide draw pass it's a Maxima Keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, let's just look at this again. Just when you think you've got a team by the scruff of the neck, they break on you like that. What pace, what brilliance. Just look at the movement. It's a brilliant, brilliant goal. The opening goal of the game, then. Good-looking sequence. Gaia, and the cross is very much on. And the referee has given them a corner. And now the delivery. Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. Oh, he's through here. Still possible. It's in. They're looking right. And confidence and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, here's the replay. I never liked rebound goals off goalkeepers. The defenders should be there. Probably would have been my fault. On that occasion, his defenders went missing. So 2-0 now. Emil Forsberg. Cavani. He's in with a chance. Super goalkeeping. It was one against one. Oh, I really fancied the attacker there to go round him, but it's brilliant goalkeeping in the end. Over it comes. Well, that's the end of that for now. Uh, no accuracy at all in terms of the shot unleashed. Well, it's the care and attention, all that work to get in the position and then way, way wide. In possession, Adama. Tomney. Real chance. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Adama. McTominay. Ennis Bardi. A good and fair challenge. Can they hit on the break? And on the ball, Gaia. Throw-ins given. Pondogbia with it. 
He was certainly in. The chance was there, but credit has to go to the defender league. Well, part of a defender's job is to put players off doing their job, and that's exactly what they do there. It's a decent effort in the end, but under pressure. Scott McTominay. It's with McTominay. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. And he's broken free. Keeper's contribution, but what next? Danger averted. Davis. It's with Romagnoli. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. A chance to whip it in. Wonderful block. Joe Linton. Fruitful looking attack. And he's just veered into an offside position this time. Alfonso Davies. Sam Maxima has it. Joe Linton. Firing it in. And a fine stop. And that was a very fine read. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. And the attack goes through Cavani. And possession lost, intercepted. And there it is, the half-time whistle. It is the Europa League semi-final first leg, and the second half begins. Gaia. Gabriel. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Tilo Kera. Scott McTominay. Lucas Paqueta. Davis. Sam Maxima. Paqueta. And moving the ball nicely. He must finish! Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out of the net. Absolutely amazing. And no nonsense defensive clearance. It's with Romagnoli. Can't miss, surely! Oh, it's off the post! Not really the ideal clearance. Sam Maxima. It looks promising. McTominay. Regained possession. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Newcastle United taking on Liverpool. Yeah, that looks a great matchup, doesn't it? Looking forward to some fast flowing football there. Good looking sequence. They've given it away. Contogbia. Staunch rear guard action. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Sam Maxima. Real chance. Sam Maxima. It really is such a free scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, let's see this again. Look at the defence doing their job. Now we're going to see the forwards do their job. Breaking at pace. The counter-attack, so, so difficult to stop. And just look at the finish. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. He has plenty of support. Gliding through the gears. Well, the shot from that position left a bit to be desired. You've just got to hit the target. Let the power down a little bit and go for accuracy. Gomez. Given away. Gomez. 
Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. Read it superbly to take back possession. Gomez. And that's an important intervention. So 20 minutes to go. In possession, Adama. Ennis Bardi. Scott McTominay. Straight down the throat of the opposition. He has time to play it over. And it might be. Well, it's goal after goal after goal. Just no end to this. A brilliant display. Well, Derek, take another look at this now. There's nothing much, really, the keeper can do. It was good play to get in that position. He's not going to miss from there. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Uros Pracic. Soler. Cavani. And the pass not finding its target. An awful lot of green space to run into. As teammates waiting inside the area. Davis. It's with McTominay. They do pass the ball with authority. Can he make it count? And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him, and no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, you can see it coming, Derek. They did a great job of moving the ball, pulling players out of position, and eventually found the space to finish it off. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. To be replaced by... Into the advanced position. Kondogbia. Edinson Cavani's in the vicinity. An important interception. Paqueta. Ennis Bardi. Joel Linton. Magnificent challenge to win it back. And on the ball, Gaia. Far from a good pass. Now, let's see what they can do here. And he's made headway. Well, the post getting in the way there. Both substitutes who've been getting ready will come on at the same time. Paqueta. The, the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. And it's Bardi. Playing with purpose and control. Well, not really a shooting moment he's going to be especially proud of, Lee. Well, he did have other options, but he thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a go. And that is that, and the host. There's a slide rule pass. Just a couple of questions for you. Thanks, that's all.
Agradecemos su paciencia. Las preguntas darán comienzo en breve. Eso es todo. When you find the net consistently, that brings with it attention. Can he continue along the Europa League goals trail? We're about to find out. A big night for football for all concerned here at the Estadio Mestalla. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And it comes down to this, the second leg of this semi-final in the UEFA Europa League. It's Valencia up against Newcastle United. Well, thanks, Derek. They come here with a huge lead. I'm sure they think the tie's over. These home fans are really, really important. Can they get behind the players and just put a dent into that lead? decisive leg of this Europa League semi-final and the match commences well, here's the initial 11 for Valencia it looks like a conventional 4-4-2 a preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal two main strikers four across the midfield really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system so the starting 11 for Newcastle United Martin Dubravka Oh, he's given it away. Cavani! Tremendous block. Surely! And a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot straight at him. No problem for the goalie. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man. Lee, what are you anticipating seeing from him? Well, how do you stop him? Four goals in three games. I suggest the defenders, not just one of them. Twos and threes might be the case. They've given it away. An abundance of space. Pulls it back. Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost turning away. He thinks he's scored. The goalkeeper doesn't. Well, how is this game still level? Really, really good goalkeeping. From Dogbia. Ennis Bardi. Scott McTominay. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Can he take advantage? Corner played into the box. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Really needed to be spot on. Sam Maxima! And a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight. That's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. 
Well, it's brilliant, positive football. That's what the fans pay their money to come and see. What a goal. And this has become an absolute thrashing. 6-0 is the aggregate score. And Gomez with it. Nothing wrong with that idea. Really, that would be meat and drink to most goalkeepers. Yeah, goalkeeper fully in control there. Aguenta. Now Bellerin. Ennis Bardi. Giving the ball away. A bit of running room now on the wing. Cavani. Cross into the right place, but no one able to finish it off. Aguenta. Scott McTominay. Really a very poor ball. And the emphasis is on creativity. Gaia. Will he find the net? And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. So the aggregate score now, 6-1 here. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. San Maxima, preferring to go infield. San Maxima! And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions. I'm never in any real doubt he finished that. Cool and composed. As they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Here's PC. Well, he's lost the ball. Got McTominay. Ball with Sam Maxima. This could be an interesting avenue. Ennis Bardi. Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. Gomez. Condogbia. Ennis Bardi. McTominay. Sam Maxima. And threading it forward. But did it quite do enough. Dealing with the threat that was real. Ennis Bardi. McTominay. Dangerous looking attack. Is this the moment? And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Let's have a look at that again. The keeper thinks he's done enough, but he hasn't. It's just gone past him. He does get a touch on it, though. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Emil Forsberg. Here's PC. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Tremendous ball played through. Can he take advantage? And he couldn't take advantage of that opportunity from close range lead. How close does he want to be to score? He's gone for power and fluffed his lines. Cavani, the pass not quite up to scratch. The first half here comes to an end. be settled tonight the second leg of the Europa League semi-final and the second half is underway it's with McTominay fluency of movement Hector Bellerin Scott McTominay in possession Adama it's with McTominay surely fairly routine for any goalkeeper He's given a corner, the referee. And firing it into the area. 
I'm sure, you know, he wishes he could have that header back. Well, in that position, you should think he's going to score, but it's really a poor effort with his head. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League, it's Newcastle United facing Wolves. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek, and that should be an absolute belter. Lucas Paqueta. Well, no doubt many of you have been hearing the transfer rumours. It does look as though the deal could be only. Yeah, if the media and the papers are believed, they've made an official bid. Not surprising, really, he's a top player. There's been rumblings for a while now. Opportunity it is. And it's gone in. Well, look at this, Derek. Sometimes the opposition are all set up perfectly for you to dribble through them. It's almost like he's playing FIFA. He goes through and puts the ball in the back of the net. It's brilliant. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Maximiliano Gomez and Soler couldn't keep the ball and very deftly cut out simply miles off target dear me oh close your eyes when you're watching this one it's horrific scott mctominay lucas paqueta long staff paqueta he's given us away and it's a quality pass cavani and a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot straight at him. Oh, he's given us away. PC. It'll be a corner. Corner kick played in. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. He's driven in the corner. Not to be this time. Sam Axima. Real chance. Still a chance. And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, here we can see, Derek, from this better angle, it's all about the technique. When you're volleying a ball, it's all about timing. Let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection. And there you go, in the back of the net. A lot of goals. 5-1 it is. Well, that is how to run at defenders. An authoritative challenge. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. And over comes the corner. Up behind for another corner. Played into the center of the box. Just couldn't capitalize there. And he takes it on. Whatever it takes to keep them out. Scott McTominay. In possession, Adama. Joel Linton. Longstaff. A really top notch piece of defending. Just 10 minutes to go. Well, the counter chance looks very real. An important interception. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. And slipped through beautifully. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating.
Well, it seemed like just a matter of time before they scored. Delicate, incisive play has done the damage. Ratchic. Gabriel Kondogbia Gaia and Gomez with it he could pick out a teammate well not a cross that will live long in the memory, goal kick Kera Longstaff Scott McTominay the referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. It's with McTominay. Now Bayerine. Far from a good pass. Ratchic. Tremendous ball played through. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. I'm not afraid to have a go from long range. There's the referee's whistle, and the emphasis is on creativity. Gracias por su tiempo. Le agradezco que haya aceptado contestar a estas preguntas. De nuevo, gracias por... Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, we'll take some questions now. Yeah, thank you. That's all. Yes, I blew my shot from Florida to Hollywood. Bought some gold, look 
big on me. Got some goals, it's a list on me. Yellow, yeah, I'm rich, I rock and roll. Then the stroll, playing tricks on me. The stones hitting different, you supposed to be picking me. No, they from Tiffany. Keep my name out your mouth like some wisdom teeth. Why I'm not there with you? Yes, I'm all a shot it from rhyming, shooting all of my business as a late. I got rich so fast, they want this break, can't catch a break. And yes, I know you tired of hate, I'm tired of staring at your face. And if a tell her, hey, we can go tip a tech today. That's on my mama, that's on Big Sean, that's on Lil A from FLA. I here in LA, trying to make a trying to wrap this case. That's a whole 120K to the magistrate for my parents' sake. And you still talking about sharing cake. Shut the f <laughs> It is the big day in the Emirates FA Cup season. It is the final, of course. Two terrific teams about to go head to head. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you here on EA TV. And it's live. Hi, everybody. It's FA Cup final day, one of the great days in the football calendar. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. We're delighted to be part of the commentary team for you. It's Newcastle United against Manchester United. Well, I was privileged to have played in the final of this cup comp. Surely he must go! That's another page in the history of this wonderful competition. It's the opening goal of this FA Cup final. Well, didn't he take it well? That was superbly finished. Look at the fans as well. They think that might be the winner. Fantastic goal, this one. Well, coming in from the right, that was so inviting. Wonderful delivery. Great ball, great goal. Newcastle United in front. Chance to get forward from the wing. Possession given away once more. Joel Linton. Here's Berin. It's good play, this. The opposition can't get at them when they're keeping the ball. Oh, 
That's great defending there, stopping that attack. But I think they can nick it from him, but I don't think they can. It's Romagnoli. Tilo Kera. Got to clear it now. And the goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. Alain San Maxima. Wide. They were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. Pogba. Well, this is where the space is at the moment on the flanks. Werner. Well, it counts as a save, but it was a pretty easy one. It's given away. Really get at the opposition here. Maybe he'll cross it here. Werner! Not the kind of save that you make after training every day for that kind of situation from close range. That's that Maxima. Probing pass. A real chance here. That's the right kind of football dive to turn the shot away. Here comes the corner. Swing at it. Fist at the keeper. Backheeled it nicely to a supporting player. Looking for goal now. It's great defending with the block. He has cleared it well. Davis. Well, he's given the ball away here unnecessarily. Saw that coming and intercepted. Left the defenders trailing now. Here's a chance. He really fancied him to score, but the goalkeeper kept his beliefs and kept him out. Yeah, I mean, he'll be asking where his defenders were, but come at the hour, he stepped up there, didn't he, the keeper? One or two players arriving in the middle. Oh, what a touch by the defender. He was so quick to get into position, to get his body in the way there. Trying to steer it through. His skill is a chance to have a run at goal and take the opposition on. Couldn't hold on to the ball. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Fogba. Keeping the ball and looking for an opening. Rashford. Got past his marker. Rashford with the ball now. It's a brilliant stop. They catch the opposition out with this short corner. Keeper goes with a fist here. Werner with Matic again. Well, space to get the cross in. Well, they want to keep getting the ball into the middle, but better crosses than that. A bit of first half misery here for Manchester United. Who would have backed them to be trailing as we count the minutes down to half time? And I must say, they will need to improve in the second half, otherwise, they're a Spent force in this game. Joe Linton. Adama Traore. Probing away, working. Here's a chance! Well, they managed to get out of harm's way then because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them. Referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. The chance is here. Two in front now. Well, keep the concentration and they've won this match, I think. No better time to score than that, and no wonder his teammates are delighted. Restarting at 2 0. These players would have been dreaming about a scene like this. Well, they've had the first half to get the occasion, really, 
uh, out of their system and concentrate on the football match. So we're into the second half now of the Emirates FA Cup final. Yeah, it was cagey a little bit at times in that first half, but as you say, Martin, they've got a feel of the occasion and looking forward to the next 45 minutes. Newcastle dominating possession here. And no wonder they're winning. Probing the pass. San Maxima! Well, that should be the game. You could call it another insurance goal. Surely they can't throw it away here. Very good for Newcastle today. Another goal from them. And it looks as though they're going to chalk up another win. Yeah, they've taken the chances when they've come. Thoroughly deserved. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team. So they're racking up the goals. Manchester United using the full width of the pitch now. Just a moment to remind you, coming up soon on EA TV, the Europa League fixture. Well read at a key time for the team here. Rashford. Werner. A good hit and a chance here, and they scored certainly against the balance of the game. But that's one for them 3 1 the scoreline as we restart the game. Looking to use the full width of the pitch in this attack, he's got his tackle in, and the ball's gone out now. got his shooting boots on and he is the kind of player that can hit his straps like this excellent day for him well that back line has been at sixes and sevens virtually from the first kick and I wouldn't be at all surprised to see them concede even more it's turning out to be an embarrassing scoreline really as we're underway again he's left one behind the break is definitely on Well, that could have been a really dangerous breakaway, but it's been stopped in its tracks. Traore. It's good play, this. The opposition can't get at them when they're keeping the ball. Didn't quite get the pass right. The keeper's ball. Here's Joe Linton. This could be a chance. And there it is! Oh, the crowd appreciating that. And so are his teammates. What a good finish and what a good ball through to him. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. And they've got a man out wide. Pogba. Werner. They gave the ball away when they had a real chance to open up the opposition. Excellent piece of defending here. Bruno Fernandes. Semedo. two options now in forward areas for them Davis substitution imminent now Davis San Maxima football is a passing game and goodness me they're passing the ball around the opposition beautifully here yeah there's been a good tempo to it good movement off the ball and they've made the opposition work really hard Lovely ball. That's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Cuts it out nicely. And here's Paul Popper. Should be. Saved by the keeper, but not decisively. And he's caught that right, but just off target. Ah, not too much wrong with the technique there. I'm just looking at the tactics of this match. Maybe the substitution will hold the key. 
if it wasn't Manchester United, you would say the writing was on the wall here because they have been very indifferent today, but they've still got that history of scoring late goals. Slipped through. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Corner swung in. Good defensive clearance there. And here comes the substitution now. Squandering possession cheaply, really, with that pass. It's a defender on top of his game here, and certainly on top of the opposition then. And five minutes remaining. Adama Traore. Well, they're attacking here. Might be a chance for Newcastle. Should be. They stopped him in the nick of time. Bruno Fernandes. Now Marcus Rashford. Fernandes. Semedo. Added time coming up. There will be two minutes of it. Maguire. Bruno Fernandes. Lautaro Martinez. That's the shoot. That's a good block. Here comes the corner. It's over! Final whistle has gone, and they have clinched the trophy here. They've won the cup, and what delight, extremes of emotion, desolation for the losers, ecstasy for the winners. Yeah, pure jubilation. Tactically, I think they've got it spot on. Really clever from the manager. Those players followed the boss's orders to the letter. Wonderful team spirit. They couldn't have done it without that. Well, it is the most famous domestic club competition in the world, the oldest, still widely celebrated. And to go up to collect the FA Cup, Alan, you've done it. Now, it's a magnificent feeling, and these players, I think defensively, they owe those defenders a, a big pat on the back because their success has been based on that. FA Cup winners. Well, it's all part of a very special day, this, isn't it? To go and share the moment with the supporters. Yeah, and I know that. Family up in the stands too. It's one of those days you do not forget in a hurry. Brilliant scenes here. What a moment to be pictured here as cup winners. Sensational achievement. It certainly has been their day, a very special day indeed. Saw that coming and intercepted. Just a couple of questions for you. Thank you for your time. Thanks, guys. We're going to get started with the questions now. You ready? Okay.
Two teams ready, they hope, to clear the final hurdle. The routes to this stage have been fascinating, but now it is Europa League final night and the fans are beginning to pour into the stadium. It's Atletico Madrid. They take on Newcastle United live on EA TV. A special one-off occasion to bring you coverage of tonight. It's the final of the Europa League. It's Atletico Madrid up against Newcastle United. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams have the added advantage of if they win this competition, a Champions League place is available. Fullbacks will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre backs. Very solid look about this team. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Martin Dubravka is the goalkeeper. Tilo Keira plays alongside Alessio Romagnoli in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. Lamar. Here's Hector Herrera. Dzeko. Dzeko. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. And the ball with Alfonso Davies. Paqueta. It's with McTominay. Lucas Paqueta. Alfonso Davies. You know, as good as his goal scoring record is, I think many people still underestimate Edin Dzeko, but what do you expect from him in this game, Lee? Well, basically, you've got to keep him out of the box because he's got such a brilliant finishing ability that you give him half a yard, he will score. So keep him as far away from your goal as possible. Joel Linton. It's a quality pass. And the defender takes care of business. It's with McTominay. Lucas Paqueta. Joe Linton. Bayerine. Can they take the lead here? Oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. And the corner has been given. And they deal with the threat this time. They've given it away. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. To be. The goalkeeper relatively untroubled. Yeah, he's, he's not going to let that one in, Derek. Davis. And Torres on the ball. Herrera. It's opening up for them. He's gone for power, but might be regretting that now, Lee. Oh, my. Why? How? So many questions. 
Dzeko. Thomas Lemar. Pulls it back. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Ball with uh, Maxima. And the attacking options appear plentiful. Looking for that final. It's a weighted pass. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. And given away by Atletico. Tomane, Ennis Bardi just straying offside Aguenta Ennis Bardi San Maxima San Maxima there it is how about that for starters well what a huge moment that might be for this club the fans are going absolutely wild well we can take another look at this now and he's connected so well with it generating a lot of power and the keeper just can't react in time look the opening goal of the game then Ferran Torres making excellent progress with the ball at his feet not fantastic defending let's see if it helps the opposition easy save given away Marco Llorente has it well they want that equaliser but the passing remains smooth well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Ball with uh, Maxima. Scott McTominay. Now Bayerin. McTominay. Dangerous looking attack. It's there for him. Oh, it's in. A two goal cushion now. And the lead fully merited. Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right, head down, back of the net. So, 2-0 now. And given away by Atletico. And fed forwards. Now, will they do it from here? Well, it's goal after goal after goal. Just no end to this. A brilliant display. Well, the coaches will tell you, pass the ball how you would like to receive it. Perfectly weighted, and he finished it off brilliantly. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Well, couldn't keep it. Excellent challenge. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Joao Felix, wonderfully weighted pass. Oh, a vital interception. The first half draws to a close in this UEFA Europe. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Slipshot passing. Dzeko. And that is how to thwart them. And the attack promising as it was. Scuppered there. Herrera. Lamar. And the ball with Alfonso Davies. Tilo Queira. Now Bellerin. Lucas Paqueta. Well, this is a story certainly worth keeping an eye on in the days ahead. A really sumptuous ball. San Maxima. Is he capable of sparking something? Ferran Torres.
Now Dzeko. Lamar. Fruitful looking attack. They couldn't maintain possession. It's with Joe Linton. Chance to attack using wit. Has teammates waiting inside the area. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Herrera. Half an hour remaining then. Marcos Llorente. Ennis Bardi. Wow, this might pay dividends. Can they get in behind them? Will it be? It's still alive. Well, that was anything but a textbook head early. Well, to be fair to him, it's not the easiest of chances. He's just caught it off the top of his head, really. And here's a change now for Atletico. And given away. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Marcos Llorente has it. Joao Felix. Maneuvering his way forward. Ennis Bardi. Scott McTominay. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And he takes on the shot. And a fine stop. Kira, long stuff. Ennis Bardi showing patience as well as persistence in the build up. Adama, Joel Linton, a bit sloppy in possession. Atletico get the free kick decision their way. Fifteen minutes remaining. Now he must favour the cross. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Corner kick played in. But he was being pursued furiously. The effort, though, nothing to write home about, really. No, I think you give the credit to the defender there. Just put him off balance. Scott McTominay. Ennis Bardi. Emil Kraft. Very comfortable when in possession. McTominay. And Jan Oblak excelling. Absolutely fantastic. Goalkeepers make saves like that, win games. Corner awarded. Clumps clear. Davis. Longstaff. Ennis Bardi. Joe Linton. Saint Maxima. He succeeds in clearing it. It is an Atletico substitution. Well, given that we're in the second half and it has got a bit ugly from the scoreline point of view, what positives can you find, Lee? Well, the Atletico players look down and out, frustrated they might be, and quite rightly so, a poor performance tonight. Let their standards drop. Inexcusable, really. Back to the drawing board in training next week, I'm afraid. No way back from here for me. Sam Maxima has it. Joel Linton. Sir Maxima. And he has clear options in the middle. And he's clear as lines. Sir Maxima. Just wanted to get it out of there. And the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. 
Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these. These moments where you pick trophies up and win medals. Absolutely brilliant for this group of players. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. They're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, all those months of hard training sessions, pre-season training, you kind of look forward to get yourself through those sessions. And they'll be looking forward at moments like this. They've finally got their hands on this fantastic, magnificent trophy. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Long celebrations into the night, I'm pretty sure, Derek. It's going to go on and on. Yeah, I think they have every intention of making this last as long as possible. One more trophy left, why not? Yes. Well, this is the moment I love, sharing it with the fans. The ticket tapes coming down, the families in the stand, giving them all away. But they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment. Fantastic. took fire as well as ice on the pitch and now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken well you know exactly where i'd be sitting in that photo don't you derek <laughs> i think i've heard it before lee <laughs> straight in the front Some questions regarding the match. Thank you so much. For Talk to God, then he came over. Talk to God, then he came over. Got a job, I gotta do. I get down. 